hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll provide you this type of uh, creative effects which is help you out to make your car type photography into next level so coronavirus uh, is just uh, is a pandemic situation for us stay at home now you're getting many of times and cultivate your like uh, creativities and all the stuffs so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so i have some stock image go to the file and open up so i downloaded some stock image from the unsplash.com and here i just got this type of image this one press ctrl or command j you will get a new copy of this layer go to the filter and camera filter you know camera filter is a plugins of the photoshops and uh, creative cloud version you're getting it by default in a cs version you have to install it manually if you want to get the download link please check out my video description here is small menu go to the load settings options and here is the preset which is the car and i'll provide you that things in my video description please check it out if you need to change the other stuffs please just adjust from here you can increase the highlight and other stuffs and you can edit all the things uh, here is the assumption to make it out like uh, these things suppose you want to change the color you want to the change the saturation and other stuffs if you want to change the hue or everything you can just edit from here and hit the ok button yes it's taking time and it'll provide you the output like that now let's try the second photo go to the open portion and from here you are getting here the this car which is another stock image press ctrl or command j get the copy of this layer go to the filter camera filter things which is the load settings options from here and then car read so this one what i used settings over here let's see here the temperature minus 4 tint plus 39 and exposure plus 28 and the contrast plus 17 and highlight minus 100 shadow plus 100 whites that is 16 and vibrance which is the mid tone that is 34 and 50 minus 53 for the saturation that's why you are getting the moody type look from the tone curve let's see what i have used here i locked it up and the input value 167 and output value 161 and here the input value that is one to six and the output value one zero five that's good and let's see the blue tone curve no applications and green and red nothing i used here except the rgb tone curve from here the detailing options and i'm just using here 50 and the luminance of noise reduction 67 you have that preference to change it out if you need you can change it out here the hue saturation luminance hue which color you want to pick up saturation that is the percentage of color and luminance that is the intensity of the color hue red hue i made it plus 18 for the little bit orange type look you know in the left side you are getting the pink and the right side you are getting the orange color minus 7 for the orange hue i made it a little bit red type that means you are getting here two things which is the red type orange or orange type red whatever it is and here blue and i made it 13 plus 13 saturation for the red plus 35 orange plus 79 yellow plus 24 and blue minus 49 luminance that is the intensity of the color red intensity 11 plus 11 arrow orange plus 43 yellow plus 8 that's good and split toning most important things the shadow color and highlight color which is picked up from the split tone highlight color i made the value 270 and the saturation 8 and the shadow color the color hue which i picked up 2 to 1 and the saturation 2 that's good no lens correction issue and then here effects you are getting two part which is the green and the postcrop vignetting here postcrop vignetting you are getting amount minus 8 that's a little bit like vignette over here and the calibration that is plus 100 that is a shadow tint and the red primary plus 100 saturation that is plus 34 green primary plus 1 
saturation 36 and the blue primary minus 100 saturation minus 48 and hit the ok button you're getting the change which is before one and after one you're getting like that so i made the preset for you guys and i'll provide you that preset for you and you can use that things in your photographs so let's apply the things in my photographs which is this one the morris garage the mz jts mg jts that is not ev but um, that is the car which i like uh, got in the garage so, and i'll apply this preset in this photo so go to the filter and camera filter and from here you'll get the small menu which is the load settings options you'll get and insert that preset which i providing you here the red car preset xmp file and just nice but in this photo i want to change the temperature and tint just because of if i adjust the temperature and tint it will give you or give me the okay, best output so here from here i'll add some like that and i'll change the hue from here i'll make it a little bit red type so it's giving me a extra creative look for this photo the car was the red and shiny red and i mix up with the orange color and it's giving me benefits so hit the ok button the before one and after one you're getting like that so i'll provide you that photo in my video description so if you need you can check it out and you can download this one free of cost and all the stock image download link in my video description and the camera raw filter please check out my video description for the download link and stay at home stay safe from the coronavirus hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and until the next video i am in seven signing out today bye bye